everybody, this is Arid. In-game name is September on the Thunderwing and the Nui servers. Today I'm reporting from the public test server. In this video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to be covering the crafting changes and explain how or what the difference is between Obsidian and quote unquote normal gear and the changes to Obsidian that happened here in 4.5. And ultimately what I'm going to do is take a look at the new cost of crafting gear in 4.5. All right, so let's start from the beginning. So what is the difference between Obsidian gear and normal crafted gear? Well, without getting into this long-ass history of this gear, normal gear consists of Illustrious, Magnificent, Ethereum, Delphinod, and Ionat while obsidian consists of tiers of obsidian so in the past uh we're going to bring up a slide here and i'm just going to kind of cap recap all this stuff here in the past obsidian was uh, a good choice of gear for most because it was lower cost it actually had some class versatility and also it doesn't lose its regrades when you upcraft to the next tier now the downside to obsidian has been once you equip the gear it becomes bound to you and the regrade chances to regrade it were always lower now normal gear on the other hand it does not bind to you when you equip it which is great for passing it on to alt or other people uh, normal gear also has um, what I'm going to call stat classifications and what I'm talking about there is like uh, gear can be like wave, gale, flame, quake, and so forth. If you are like uh, changing from let's say a mage to a healer, um, one of the nice things about normal crafted gear is that you can reseal it with a transmuter and change the classification. So for in this example, uh, I might be playing a mage with wave gear and I say well now I want to be a healer uh, I could reseal that and turn it into something more appropriate for a healer like stone gear of course the, there are downsides to the normal crafted gear and um, that has normally been the fact that it doesn't really get the same stat bonuses or on equip bonuses that you got from obsidian and of course when you upcraft the normal gear like from Delphinod to Ionad, uh, you actually lose the grade. It actually resets to a default value. Uh, so that's pretty much the difference between crafted gear and obsidian gear in the smallest nutshell that I can make. Uh, so now let's take a look at uh, obsidian gear specifically in 4.5. Uh, so for those of you who are new to the game or haven't played in you know some time, there has been some, I don't know, a lot of changes over the course of a few years to the way this gear is crafted uh, like it was in the past. This actually may cause some confusion when you hear people talk about Tier 1 or Tier 2 or even Tier 4. So let me get you on track here. So prior to 4.5, there were seven tiers of Obsidian gear three of which were removed in 4.5. That leaves us with just four tiers of, of obsidian, one, two, three, four. Uh, I suggest for continuity's sake that all of us out here uh, get used to referring to obsidian gear in this way, one, two, three, four. Um, and pre-4.5 pre obsidian, just use the, uh, the uh, prefix, like old tier one, old tier two, and old tier four. Okay, so it, what happened in 4.5 is they removed tier one, tier two, and tier four as shown here. Um, so now the old tier three is our new tier one, the old tier five is our near new tier two, tier six is a tier three, tier seven is a tier four, as I show here on this spreadsheet or this slide I should say. Uh, for any of the any of you that still have old tier 1, tier 2, or tier 4 stuff, you'll still be able to keep that in the obsidian tier. All you have to do is um, take it to Mirage Isle and it will take the same mats as it always used to and you can upgrade it until you get to tier 5 and then you're out of the, the, old, uh, the old system. Okay so uh, now that we know how obsidian tiers work in 4.5 you still may be asking yourself 
well, which gear should I go for? So for those of you who are going to be playing on the Fresh Start, you guys are going to be locked at Magnificent Gear for like the first month, which means no Obsidian, uh, at least until uh, the, the second month when they unlock Ethereum Gear. And then even then, you're going to be, you're going to be right at the, um, the Ethereum grade, which is basically the, the Tier 1 Obsidian. So you're going to have to deal with the Magnificent stuff or dungeon gear, and from what I remember from the last fresh start, dungeon gear seems to be the way to go, at least starting out. Uh, eventually, when things unlock for you guys on fresh start servers, you can move into the the choices that everybody else is going to have on the get go. So, for those of you who are going to be sticking around on the legacy servers, you probably have already committed yourself to one of the paths, whether it's normal or obsidian. But if not, let's take a look at how crafting works in 4.5 and put some values to the choices. But to do that, we have to know what is changing in crafting in 4.5. And the first thing that I want to talk about, and though I'm sure by now it's pretty well known, is that the regrade chances in 4.5 are going up. In fact, they're almost double all the way, or they are double all the way up until the epic grade. And at epic grade, it's about a 50% bonus to what it used to be. And legendary is about 25% higher than what it was. So on this slide, you can see I, I wrote them out here, the old versus the new rates. And most notable here in the normal gear section is that you can be guaranteed uh, to go from Celestial to Divine with a superior red regrade charm in the normal tiers. On top of the new regrade rates, the amount of gold to attempt a regrade has gone down. So for an example, in 4.0, uh, if you wanted to regrade a unique Ionad, uh, that attempt would cost you 254 gold. Now it's only 182 gold. And that is to say nothing of all the grades below that unique. But wait, there's more. In 4.5, when you upcraft, the minimum grade is now much higher. So for our Ionad example, if you were crafting this, you are guaranteed in 4.5 to at least get a heroic out of the crafting station. So you're skipping all those tiers below that straight off. And if you happen to be using an Armorsmith house, that thing can even come out unique. I've seen it happen here on the test server. And that's still not all. The materials required to craft from Magnificent to Delphinod through all those tiers, it has been reduced. This is going to save you money on Archeum Essences, fine and sturdy ingots, or in the case if you're working on armor, the, uh, you know, the fine leather or the beautifully colored fabrics. On top of all this, if you actually have access to an Armorsmith house, you can craft straight to Ethereum and you do not even need a magnificent piece. Wow. What all this means to you in the end is the cost of crafting normal gear is going to go down. Right now, uh, what I've done is I've got Ethereum weapons costing about 450 gold. Now, back in 4.0, that same weapon would cost you close to, closer to 1,600 gold. Delphinods are costing around 2,600 gold to craft, and that's way down from 6,500 gold in 4.0. Uh, and finally, when we talk about Ionads, those are also going down to around uh, 12K in 4.5, and they in 4.0 those things cost you right around 16.5k what all this means in the end is the cost to craft an iron ore is also going to go down and uh, the figures that i show is it's going to be about 69,000 gold uh, to craft an iron ore which is about 10,000 uh, to 12,000 gold cheaper than it was in 4.0 on top of this, the Aranor weapons also pick up a minimum grade uh, when you craft them, which is arcane, which is going to save you about another 6,000 gold 
in feeder mats, uh, the mats that it takes to go from grand uh, to uh, rare and then rare to arcane. So I'm not quite prepared to talk about the cost to uh, take your Aranor even higher quite yet. Uh, I am still working on that, but I can tell you that at the very least, getting an Aranor built is going to be much cheaper. Okay, so we took a look at the Ionad costs and the Aranor values, and we know that those are going down. But what about Obsidian? Well, so the appeal for Obsidian is actually still there, and I'm quite happy to report that those costs, too, appear to have gone down. Now, you might be asking yourself with what you know, what the hell, Arid? How can the cost go down if now before I start YOLOing my Obsidian items, I have to make what amounts to an old Tier 3, which is the new Tier 1? That is actually a very good question, so I did the math. So in this example, I'm using a uh, scepter, uh, for example, but this could apply to anything, armor, whatever. Uh, so yes, in 4.0, you can make uh, and regrade a obsidian weapon to celestial for about 1,100 gold. And surprisingly, even with having to buy an illustrious and then upcraft it to magnificent and then craft a new tier one and regrade it, you still have about 160 gold less in this process. However, yes, it will take more of your labor to get there. I personally see this as a sign that says, hey, if you're already on the obsidian path with a weapon or a set of armor, you're fine. Just stick with it. Don't bother trying to switch to Ionad or Aranor unless you feel like you have to or if it's due to a class or skill change. Now, while I'm on this page of this spreadsheet, I wanted to address another question uh, about the changes to the great success chance. Some of you who were actually paying attention on the other slides may have noticed that I noted that the great success chance has gone down from 20% to 10%. Now, this at first sounded like it was a big deal, and in fact, it will have some effect on things, but not as much as one may think uh, just by reading the patch notes. Okay, so sure, when you decrease the great success chance by half, it sounds like that means there will be half as many great successes, right? Well, yeah, that's what it sounds like. But to the best of my understanding, that is not exactly how it works. Great success chances have always been a percent of the success chance. So if everything was a 100% chance, then yeah, one out of five or two out of 10 would be great successes. But your chances at success are not usually that high. And since the base rates have also been doubled uh, for tiers below Epic, that breaks down to something like this. So in 4.0, if you were regrading a Celestial Obsidian weapon and you used a superior red regrade charm, you had a 39% chance for success. 20% of that 39% was allocated for a great success, which means that you had exactly a 7.8% chance at a great success. Taking that same scenario in 4.5 because the base rates again they're doubled and with that same superior red regrade charm you have now what amounts to a 78 percent chance at success but only 10 percent of it is allocated for a great success. So 10 percent of 78 is yes exactly the same 7.8 percent. Now that said, if you are planning on YOLOing epics or higher, first of all, you should consider donating to me. <laughs> but seriously, if you are going to be YOLOing those epics, uh, you are going to notice a little bit of a difference. Because at this level, the base bonus isn't quite high enough to compensate for the lower great success chance. Also on this page you may have been staring at this Ionad example and that too does suffer a bit but actually for a different reason. So back in 4.0 the chance of taking an Ionad from Celestial to Epic with a superior red was 
Again, 20% was for a great success chance, which gave you 12% total. Now in 4.5, we have a higher percent chance, but your success chances, as far as I know, uh, with the math that I use, cannot get higher than 100%. Therefore, even though the rates are doubled, you max out at 100%, and 10% of 100 is only 10%, meaning there is actually a 2% less chance for epic ionads coming from celestial great successes. But I also have to mention that that number is going to be completely offset by the amount of normal successes coming from divine regrades. All right, I hope all that stuff was helpful to somebody out there. I tried not to get too technical about things, and I just tried to lay out the facts as I found them. Uh, now, if you ask me how all this stuff is going to play out, I'll tell you this. I see far more people actually engaging with the Aranor system, and that has been something that we have sorely needed for a very long time, like since it was introduced. In the wake of all these people engaging with this system, I also feel like the bar for OK gear on the legacy servers have been, has been moved from at least divine to epic. And I can imagine that like larger PvP focus guilds will actually require at least legendary, if not mythic, uh, at least mythic weapons to get in. Now, that may sound pretty harsh, but overall, the prices on everything will be going down. And that means they're going to be more accessible to every normal person like myself that plays this game. And of course, because of that, to stay one step ahead, those PvP boys and girls are also going to step it up. So until next time, this is September saying, be well. Well, that is pretty much it for this video. I hope you have found this information both helpful and informative. That is the goal of each video. Special credits to Al Hassan Muhammad, Facebook Vibe Skies, and YouTube Al Hassan Muhammad for the intro and this outro music. This video was edited by Arid. You can find me on Twitch TV, Arid underscore, as well as YouTube channel, Arid. Uh, if you'd like to support me, you can follow me on Patreon, Twitch, as well as if you would like a one-time donation, you can do that via Streamlabs. I'd also like to thank my current Patreons, Umut Khan Onal and Billy Cool, as well as all these Twitch subs that are listed here. Thank you very much. And then the one-time top donors, Riot Devil, Mac PPS, Ascendra, Eldern, and Wiccan Vape. You guys are all awesome. Thank you very much for the support. And as promised, I will recognize you in each and every one of my videos. So if you'd like to support me, please do so. Until next time, this is September saying, be well.